All right, so I'll be honest with you. It was a little difficult for me to pick a deck for this reading. So I was like, you know what? It's never hard when it's a Disney character, right? So we're going to go with the Villain's Tarot to see what's good and what's going on in the ethers today. You feel me? You already know. You're like, eesh. We know. We're highly favored to protect you. North and form shall prosper. All glory going to the most high. Blah, 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 blah. Can we get started? Yes, I'm sorry. Jeez. Did you feel like that? All right, how about this? I always see what's going on in the ethers, and I'll just get to it. All right, praise to the most high. All glory going to the big guy. Let's go. Influencing the read today at this time. I'm so excited. Boom, the queen of wands, as you can see. All right, she's very attractive in one form, or she's very scary in the other. All right, so it depends on which version we're getting. All right, but right now we're focusing on the beauty with the apple. Now, we know the apple in many stories didn't ever turn out to be good. Just want to point that out. Let's get to it. All right. Temperance on the table. Let's talk about it. All right. So it's looking like somebody would like to celebrate, not just celebrate. You feel me? Bring in this. Okay. Yeah. Bring in some peace. A little bit of harmony. You feel me? Celebratory vibes. A little bit of effort towards this beautiful queen of wands. But they're trying to figure out how do we do this. All right. Somebody's in hermit mode. They're taking time to themselves. I don't like that. Like, they're taking time to themselves. And they're really, you know, let's use this. All right. Boom. Okay. They're taking time to themselves. And they're really just like, you know, I want to bring peace to the situation. But I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do that. All right, these are very deep hidden emotions that are being suppressed, but they do want to come forward and celebrate. Okay, they want victory, they want to be successful. Whatever hurdles you guys were facing in the past, they want to get over it. The divine masculine bottom of the deck, somebody wants to take accountability. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Stepping up to the play, let's see what's going on. So, six of wands, somebody's. Definitely like, look, all these hurdles, five wands, they could be a thing of the past if we allow them to be. Okay, four cups. This will not be a missed opportunity, seeing that in the reverse. All right, they're meditating, thinking on it. And the truth is they've determined which path they would like to be. And they're very confident that it's on the path with this particular queen of wands. All right. Okay. Not too shabby. They're feeling this homie, this energy is her is their true love, their true counterpart, their true counterpart, their true match. As you can see, the queen to their king of wands. All right, we got true love with the lovers on the table. Is somebody ready to take that leap of faith? They've never had a love like this. They've never had a situation ship like this. You're like, did you just say situation ship? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Uh -huh. Let's keep going. All right, as you can see, this is the happiest card in the deck with the sun at the bottom of the deck. We've just illuminated somebody's hidden emotions. And the fact is, the truth is, they would like to have another opportunity at this. As we've seen with the Six of Wands, they want to clear those hurdles. All right, they want to be successful. They want to be victorious. They want to be the champ. And here are those five hurdles that were there from the past, apparently. Okay, okay, let's talk nice. Boom, Knight of Pentacles. Truth is, they've been working through the night in order to master those hurdles, five to the six, and now they're ready to come take action towards this. Yeah, it's on. It's on. You feel me? Game is on. Okay, so we got the King of Wands. Okay, sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't know what just happened here. Somebody just downshifted. They're ready to rev it up and get up out of here. You feel me? Anywho, so he's over here working vigorously through the night, minding his business. As you can see, there's no light but that itty-bitty flashlight on his bicycle. That's right, but he's carrying that package very diligently to wherever he has to be over these five hurdles, and he's ready to put the work in. The truth is there may have been a third-party energy involved while he was dealing with this divine beauty, this empress. Yes, I said it. All right, so there was hurt. There was heartbreak. There was sadness. There was betrayal. All right, but you know what? There was cheating. There was lies. There was deceptive con behavior. There was a lot of it going on. They were sneaking around all of it. And that's what hurt this energy. Okay, so here comes an ace of coins, a blessing. Here comes... One second. Here comes an ace of coins. Here comes a, an opportunity to give to the one that makes them happy. I don't like the lighting either. The mic stand. Let's put this right there. All right. So 
It's an opportunity for him to give to his love interest, all right, which seems to be his true love, the one he wants to take a leap of faith in their direction. He's making a list, he's checking it twice, he's being strategic, he's making sure he's cleared every single hurdle that she's placed on this list, and they will be successful. Confident, confident, chap. Mmm, Ten of Wands, we've got an issue. Slow it down, bub. Slow it down. Ten of Wands, we have a small issue. And as you can see, it's the nasty side of the Queen of Wands blocking us up from this new beginning. Oh, no. Oh, man. I knew not to touch the Disney deck. I knew not to touch the Disney deck, bro. I knew it. Oh, my God. Let's go. Okay, passionate new beginning. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's go. He's ready. He's focused. He's ready for seven of wands. He's defensive. He's fighting off this queen of wands energy, who is not the empress, who is the third party energy. <sighs> now we're caught up. Yeah, you see it right there looking at us, right? Oh, my God. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hierophant. Higher self in the building. Let's talk. Okay, so there's been some sort of rude awakening with this tower. As you can see, I'm at the edge of my seat. I can't take the anticipation at this moment. Things are being revealed right now. And I think it's the fact that this energy would like to give a pentacle and have this new beginning over here. Oh, Knight of Wands. Somebody's riled up. Somebody's feeling a little reckless. You know, when the knights come out, you, you kind of want to take cover and run. I'm just going to be honest. Those guys, you just want to hide if you can all right but nonetheless we got some knight of wands energy maybe they're about to migrate flee to scene go straight towards the one that they're in this pursuit of passion to be on this new journey with bro i feel like i'm dropping bars right now you feel me drop the beat bro drop the beat this is crazy oh my goodness i thought i was a freaking tarot reader what the heck is this oh my goodness let's go all right all right boom seven of coins taking time to slowly invest in a situation they want to heal this but it's going to take time what is this issue with this ten of wands over here talk to me the wounded warrior he's still fighting this energy this energy has him in some sort of knight of swords energy where he's like um rather combative argumentative having to stand his ground with the wounded warrior she's just causing obstacles left and right left and right left and right watching from a distance to see what the move is actually going to be The devil. All right. Queen of Wands is the devil. Okay. All right. Is controlling, is is rather possessive. Honestly, wants to uh, be more on the overbearing side as opposed to an hierophant who's going to teach you by them leading by example. A devil's going to want to control you and bind you and bind you and lock you in. All right. So, not feeling the vibes. We got the Empress, bottom of the deck. Hanged man, somebody suspended from this Empress's energy. I'm assuming while this Queen of Wands is in the mix. Now we've seen a divine masculine, we've seen a divine feminine, and we've seen a Queen of Wands, and we've seen a King of Wands. So we definitely see that these two were definitely in some sort of situation ship. You feel me? I wish I could cross my leg again because I would do it and I'd do it hard. Is that a thing? I don't know. Judge me not. Let's go. Five of Swords reversed. The devil has been released. No more. No more conflict. All of it is gone. The fighting, all of it. So this masculine energy is like, look, broad, you're done. I'm not doing this. You're finito. You're donezo. At the end of the day, zo, I'm going to hold back from you because I'm giving to this empress. At the end of the day, she holds a key to my the cup, to my heart. And yes, I'm using this map to get to the end of this long, passionate journey yeah i'm exhausted too bro that was a lot that's a lot i feel the wounded warrior energy i really do i'm feeling you bro i'm really feeling you and i'm sorry you gotta go through that but you made your bed you feel me what do they say you can't have kate and edith too you can't have kate and edith too all right which one do you want you can't have kate and edith too all right you feel me messed your head up when i said that huh all right, is it Kate or Edith? Edith or Kate? Kate or Edith? Edith or Kate? Make up your mind. It's not Cake. Eh? Eh, so let's get going. There's something I wanted to say, something I wanted to do. Captain Hook, Peter Pan. Did you think that maybe he's always watching the time because you're chasing time because, uh, you know, his hand got eaten and he had the watch on it? No? Or how about the fact that 
this guy captain hook was the very first captive person of peter pan and he just has a vengeance because you know in never neverland it's like some sort of like fume pheromone that got you forgetting about your past life so he's kind of just on constantly in this war to beat peter pan all right and then all the people who's on his ship are like the kids who actually escaped never neverland because you know what it's deep i'm gonna post it somewhere we gotta get it into it it's it's demonic it's scary it's crazy but it's real you gotta pay attention captain hook actually is the good guy and not the bad guy all right we're gonna get into that later i don't know if that was the point of the reading i don't remember what the reading was about i don't remember but i love you Oh, yeah, two peas in a pod and the queens of wands. I think that's going to be the name of the title. Two, queen, two peas in a pod and the queen of wands. I love you all. Stay up. Remember, highly favored, protected. Most high comes first at all times. I